Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in this video, we will cover about the deleting of this notes list. So here, if I try to refresh this page, now we are able to see these all the things, right? We have already did this delete thing, but we need to do the delete option, the same thing through the Pinia store. So that is the main thing, right? So right now we are deleting it. It is also deleting it from the store, uh, from the store only, but we need to change the code according to delete it from the Pinia. So let's see how the code is, how the code does look like. So if I try to go here in this one and here in this, so if you see here in this footer.js and here we are having this handle delete click, right? Normally what it is happening, this is a child component. And when you click on this button, delete com, uh, delete uh, button, this will emit an event, which will be, de it will be defined in the define emits method. So this will emit an event. That is nothing but on delete click and it will pass the note note id as the argument so when it emits an event to the parent so immediately the parent will catch that comp uh, will catch that event on delete click and it will execute the sub uh, um, and it will execute the delete note method and this delete mode note method will delete the notes uh, particular note from the notes but this notes is available in the store and notes we are uh, read and we are uh, linking it with the store thing so that is the reason it is trying to delete it fine so now let's try to change this code according to this one. So here in the, in the single node. So right now there is no need for us to emit an event. So that means we can delete this define emits and also we can delete this uh, on delete click. In the same scenario, you can also delete the event also. So which we are catching it from the component. So fine, we have deleted this one. And here also there is no need for this method also, but we'll try to delete it. And now if you come to the single node, so right now the notes and all those things, uh, the complete notes array, we are storing it in the store concept. So now there is no need for us to emit an event when we are trying to use the Pinia store. So directly we can call that Pinia store action method directly from any component. We can call it as the data is stored in the uh, particular store. So the state data, everything is there in the uh, node store. So here you can write the code. So now what I will try to do. So here we need to create a method. So that is not this action. So I can say it as an action constant delete note and this will receive an note id so that is nothing but note id and here you can have a method so this method what we can do is so we are having in the notes view right so this filter thing so this filter i can delete it and i can write it in the note store so that's it so delete note and we need to add it here return value that's it oh sorry catch this delete note copy and depaste it yeah now this note ID, we need to replace it with the ID to delete. That's it. So now this delete note is an action and now we can call it notes dot value. Here we are saving it in the notes dot value. This one like this video doing. fine. And here I can remove this entire thing. Okay. Now this one will work. So here we don't have any problem with this one. Single note is there. And in this single note, what I will try to do is so here, let's go to the single note. Let's go to the single note. And here handle delete click is there, right? So now we need to call the store. So where from where I can call the store? Yeah, here. Now we need to write constant notes store. Sorry, notes store is equal to use notes store. So done. Now notes store, we need to copy it. And here I will do the delete note. And we need to pass the ID. So from where this note ID we can we get it? So that note ID is present in the props. Actually, this is present in the props. We will be having the particular note ID, right? And the note ID is nothing but note dot ID. So here I can pass the props dot note dot ID. Okay. So now we have successfully made this one. Let's see that whether we can able to uh, delete it or not. So if you try to see here, the Pinia is also there. So I will add it in the Pinia store and now we are having three things. And here I will be using directly add new node everything is there now when i try to delete it so automatically this has been deleted see so everything is getting deleted everything is getting deleted so this is how we can delete the uh, single node data from a pinia store so here we are maintaining everything in the pinia store the nodes array adding a node and deleting node everything we are maintaining it in the store concept so now this is how we will be doing and i will be committing this code in the video hyphen 82 the branch is this particular code, everything code is in the video hyphen 82. 
now you can uh, if you have any doubts or anything so if you are having any doubts while following this uh, project and all the things while practicing if you have any doubts you can go to this particular branch and you can get this particular code what i have did it in this video now we we delete note from store commit it and also let's publish this branch yeah now if you have any doubts and all those things you already know my github channel right so this is the github link not channel actually this one this is a github link if you are having any doubts regarding this project so this is the project note list notes list type and view so if you are having any doubts or anything so you can go to this particular branch or anything so to which which video you are watching you can go to that particular video branch and you can check that particular code or otherwise if you go to the main you will be getting the all the updated code you will be able to get it so this is how we will be doing the delete notes thing hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you